Dear white people, listen. Hear me good. Do not touch my hair, okay? Do not put your hands in my hair, okay? I really think that I'm speaking for every black woman out here, okay? I, I, if I'm not, y'all give me a thumbs down. But if I am, y'all give me a thumbs up. Because we don't want your hands in our hair. Don't walk up to me. I don't care how intrigued you are by it. I don't care how beautiful you think it is. Do not put your hands. Don't even reach. Don't that might get you hit. That might get you swung on. Then you gonna swear I'm mean. That might get you. I ain't gonna cuss, but that might really make my tone change. Don't put your hands in my hair. Don't walk up to me and say, "Oh, I like your hair." D no, that's very disrespectful. That is rude as hell. Do not put your hands in my hair, okay? I mean, I have to say it like this because if I say it nicely, then you're going to put your hands in somebody else's hair. Don't put your hands in nobody's hair. I don't know. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, okay? Don't put your hands in my hair. I'm at a restaurant the other day. Me and my homegirl sitting there, and, and a young girl come up to me and she said, oh, I like your hair. Y'all, I bugged the hell out. I'm pulling it out. I bugged the hell out. I said, don't put your hands in my hair. And that's what I said to y'all. But she was like, oh, I like your hair. Or either, oh, your hair is pretty. I don't remember which one. It was a compliment, whatever she was saying. But you can't take compliments like that when you touch people. So I had to stop her from playing. Because the next person might not be as nice. So I wrinkled my face up as, as tight as I could. And I said, do not touch my hair. Oh, no, I didn't touch. I said, you did. You touched my hair. Do not put your hands in my hair. So what she was expecting for her to say, oh, about my hair. And and I was going to say, oh, thank you. No, no, don't, don't put your hands in my hair. I'm stressing this because I'm dead serious, okay? I used to work at the hospital. And I go in there and get the people off the toilet or anything. I know you just got off the toilet because I'm the one got you off the toilet. And you, I be, oh, I could be pulling their clothes up. And, and they, oh, I love your, all like this. I wore a badge that said, don't ask to touch my hair. So some people didn't even ask. They said, your bad said, don't ask. We got them slip ones. Them slip ones. I had a lady watch me all the way from across the grocery store. So when we got close together, I knew what she was going to say. I knew she was going to say something about my hair. So she said, ma'am, I've been admiring your hair all around the grocery store. So I said, oh, thank you. She reached her hand out and she said, is that your natural color? So I bugged out. I just bugged out in the middle of the grocery store. After I said, thank you, I said, don't touch my hair. I said, who does that? Why are you going around touching people's hair? And y'all, I probably wouldn't bug out if it happened one time, if it happened two times. But I got to say, this happens to me probably about three or four times a month. And that's too much. Don't put your hands in my hair, okay? I, I don't, I, I might not be talking for other black folks, but I'm talking for me. Do not, that, white people might feel the same way. Don't put your hands, that's, give me them six feet. Stay the hell from around me. Don't put your hands in my hair. Don't put your hands on my body. You don't even know me. Mm -mm. Don't I'm I'm just gonna say this and I'm gonna say it as as 
as as as meaningfully as you take it. Don't put your dang on hands in my hair. Don't put your hands in nobody. Keep your hands to yourself. Your mama should have taught you that. Okay? Okay? Keep your hands to yourself. Don't put your hands in my hair.